Parisi. Mm -hmm. Most techniques that aim at fulfillment use in their practices some aspect of mind or heart, such as emotions, intellect, will, and so on. In a lecture at Humboldt last summer, you said that it was a very important aspect of TM that in the process of transcending, we do not use the specific qualities of mind and heart. What are the reasons why it is so valuable that these aspects of the individuality are not used in the process of transcending? When we rebuild the whole home, we don't take into account this room or that room or that room or that. We restructure the whole thing. Individual rooms here, there, there, there. They are taking, and they are taken into account when we are not remodeling the whole home. But when we are doing the whole thing, then individual aspects are not considered. The whole house is going to be renewed, rebuilt, revised, enlarged glorified, and therefore it will be a waste of time to look to the kitchen or this or this or this or this. Hmm? Transcendental meditation remodels the whole thing at a time, influences the entirety of personality, and that is why small, small areas, they are not taken into account. See? Maybe there is a fort there, and all around the fort there are some gold mines and some diamond mines and some silver mines and here and there. The whole rich area, but the, all the area belongs to the fort. What we do is rush on and capture the fort, and then we own the whole area. When we are aiming at the whole, we don't waste our time in uh, planning about owning the gold mine or diamond mine or this mine or this mine. One by one, waste of time. All at once, wisdom. It's wise to have the whole thing, occupy the whole thing, capture the whole thing remodel the entirety of life rather than trying to enrich the emotion or intellect or thinking this way, this way, little by little. That is why in transcendental meditation uh, we just don't bother about refining our emotion or refining our uh, action or refining our intellect, all these things are refined simultaneously in one stroke. Other systems of practice, hmm, other systems of enriching the personality, some systems open to what? Hmm, clear wines, see things that are far existing or hear things that are far existing or call some spirit from heaven to tell us the story, what is there and all kinds of... The small, small localized values of life, they aim at developing those specific faculties. Here, we refine the the entirety. That's why we say transcendental meditation is like watering the root. And by watering the root, we supply nourishment to all aspects of the tree. When we want to freshen and strengthen the leaves, we water the root. When we want to freshen the flowers, and we water the root. Anything we want, we water the root. From there, supply nourishment to all aspects. We take our awareness to the unbounded area. 
intellect becomes refined, mind becomes refined, ego becomes expanded, everything becomes desirable. Hmm? Uh, these other practices which aim at some specific goal like spirits and ESP and all that, they could be considered um, another activity or another dimension and, and they can be very fascinating to certain individuals because they lie out of the range of ordinary experience. What is it about these practices which is actually life damaging rather than just um, something, some other activity? The idea of capturing a gold mine is very fascinating. The idea of capturing a silver mine, very fascinating. But those who do not know that there is a fort which owns all these uh, riches in the surroundings, they try to capture this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing. Now, those who do not know that it is easy to capture the fort, hmm? it is easy to own being, infinite value of life, and thereby enrich all these specific areas at a time, spontaneously. Those who do not know this, they can only aspire for this thing, little thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Hmm? But those who know that, yeah, by capturing the fort, all will come to us automatically. It's just the lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge that allows people to waste their time in, in small, small segments, in enriching small, small specific areas, just the lack of knowledge. And where the knowledge is actually acutely lacking, in the fact that it is easier to capture the fort than to occupy the gold mine. It is easier to capture being than to develop clear voice, maybe, or clear audience, or something. Because the nature of clear audience is not bliss. Nature of being is bliss. Nature of being is bliss. And mind is naturally in a tendency of going towards greater happiness spontaneously. So the mind will be attracted by bliss automatically. Because being is bliss. Mind will not be attracted automatically towards developing clairvoyance because the nature of clairvoyance is not bliss. One has to intellectually convince himself that if clairvoyance is developed, I'll be able to see what others are not. Some intellect will have to be applied, one has to convince oneself and one has to keep on trying day after day and keep on getting tired out of that practice because its nature is not bliss, it's not satisfying. It is struggling, gaining a habit, cultivating that, uh, that practice. 
but bliss um, being is bliss and therefore automatically the mind goes immediately the mind feels fulfillment because in the realization of being there is fulfillment immediately and in marching towards developing any of these powers is tedious unnatural this is the main difference in a natural way we can occupy the whole thing gain mastery over all the powers of nature by opening being to our awareness or struggle in developing any one of these powers lack of this knowledge make the people waste their life just lack of this knowledge it's much easier to occupy the whole house than to take possession of one room <laughs> hmm? you just be bold and occupy the whole house and the, uh, you take out the owner there fine you can do it but if it's not possible to let the owner be there and you occupy one room there is very difficult because it's unnatural either you own or you don't own and there is nothing in between <laughs> development of all these small small things life consuming it's a waste of life waste of energy waste of energy when we have the knowledge that very easily and effortlessly one could capture the wholeness of life when one has this knowledge then everything else is a waste of time if one doesn't have this knowledge then there are temptations thousand and one everywhere in all directions one could keep on wasting one's life eternally hmm? in teaching in teaching we frequently run across meditators who are practicing tm who also um are fascinated by some of these other things and we always use this um explanation about capturing the fort first and all that but sometimes um the people argue that these other practices such as astral traveling and so on are just forms of thinking and action and therefore are just as valid to be the outward stroke of meditation the outward stroke of activity following meditation as any other activity what would be the explanation why these um types of things should be avoided just as some activity because these people seem to take on strange habits and seem to become strained by this kind of activity we tell them when we are enriching being or enriching our awareness of being then we are supposed to be behaving in a more responsible manner and first responsibility is to ourselves and then to our family and then to friends and all that all that all that hmm? it is all right when one says i am meditating morning and evening and what does it matter if one hour i spent on practicing some clear wines or something we would ask him to do something more practical in that one hour and have some joy of life rather than dump himself in strains and and what is going to come out of that stress and strain and that's all so when we are meditating we are 
supposed to behave more responsibly. We are supposed to make use of our time for better priorities in life. Mind our priorities more and then we will be not wasting time. It's a waste of time.